These are my Game Week 11 EPL predictions. We have a massive game on our hands. Liverpool taking on Man City. Can Liverpool find a way to take down this juggernaut? Stick around to find out. Also, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that like button and leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Let's get into the first game. First game up, we've got Brentford taking on Brighton. Now, Brentford suffered a 5-1 loss to Newcastle. Ivan Tony managed to score for Brentford. But Brentford just seemed to be losing a little bit of momentum. And they keep getting these massive score lines against them. Then Brighton, on the other hand, faced Tottenham and lost 1-0. To be fair, Brighton were probably the better team. They had more shots, more possession, more shots on target, but couldn't take their chances. Brentford will be wanting to bounce back after that heavy defeat, and Brighton will want to continue their winning ways and their amazing season that they're having. So my prediction for this is I think Brighton's going to have too much for Brentford. I'm going for a 2-1 Brighton win, but my betting tip is over 2.5 goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Leicester City taking on Crystal Palace. Now, Leicester played Bournemouth last week and lost 2-1. Leicester seemed to have that game under control. They were 1-0 up in about the 60th minute, and then Bournemouth struck back with two quick goals. Leicester seemed to be a very emotional team. If it's going good for them, it goes great. If one bad thing happens, then they completely lose their heads, and that's what we saw against Bournemouth. Now, this Crystal Palace team are coming off a 2-1 win over Leeds. To be fair, Leeds probably should have won that game. Leeds started that game game like a house on fire crystal palace were getting absolutely outplayed and then they scored off that free kick with their only shot on target in the first half and then they eventually managed to win 2-1 i do think this is going to be a tight game i'm not sure what we're going to get from leicester they're either going to come out firing or crystal palace will probably beat them however i do think leicester will fire i'm going for a 2-1 leicester win and my betting tip is a little bit safe but it's going leicester draw no bet <laughs> Next up, we've got Wolves taking on Forest. Now, Wolves played against an inspired Chelsea team and they lost 3-0. Wolves are just never really in that game. To be fair to them, they have had a rough run of fixtures lately, playing Man City, West Ham, and then Chelsea. But their fixtures do get a little bit easier in the upcoming weeks. Then Nottingham Forest drew 1-1 to Aston Villa. They're on a seven-game winless streak and I don't see them beating this Wolves team. While Villa controlled that game against Nottingham Forest, they managed to stay in it and get some points out of that game. So I like to see that from Forest. But I do think Wolves are going to have slightly too much for them this week. I'm going for a 1-0 Wolves win, and my betting tip is Wolves to win. <laughs> Next up, we've got the two promoted teams. It's Fulham taking on Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth are currently 8th on the log and Fulham are currently ninth, having unreal seasons for their standards. We spoke about Bournemouth's 2-1 win over Leicester. Solanke is looking unreal for Bournemouth and I'm expecting him to continue that form. Fulham are coming off a 3-1 loss against West Ham. Andreas Pereira opened the scoring and then West Ham just dominated the rest of the game with seven big chances. I think this is going to be an absolute thriller. I think it's going to be high scoring. I'm going for a 3-2 Fulham win, but my betting tip is over two and a half goals. Next up, we've got Tottenham taking on Everton. Now, we spoke about Tottenham's 1-0 win over Brighton. In my opinion, a lucky three points they got there. And then they faced Frankfurt in the Champions League last night, beating them 3-2. Harry Kane with a goal, Son with a goal. But surprisingly, Harry Kane missed a penalty, not like him at all. But it is good to see Harry Kane and Son finding some form again. And then Everton went down 2-1 to United. To be fair, United did dominate most of that game. They looked really, really good. But Everton did give away a 1-0 lead, which then broke their six-game undefeated run. Everton are looking good, but I do think this Tottenham side is going to have too much for them at home. I'm going for a 2-0 Tottenham win, and my betting tip is Tottenham to win. <laughs> Next up, we've got Southampton taking on West Ham. Now, Southampton went down 4-0 to City last week. To be fair, City were not firing at all cylinders. It probably should have been 6-7, 8-0 to City. They missed so many big opportunities. And then Southampton played against Portsmouth in the week and lost that game 5-2. So Southampton are not in good form at the moment. And they're coming up against West Ham, who have just clicked over into some good form after their slow start to the season. Bowen scored on the weekend. Skamanka and Antonio scored as well in their 3-1 win over Fulham so I like to see this from West Ham turning their form around and on an upward trend so I'm going for a 2-1 West Ham win here and my betting tip is West Ham to win Next up, Leeds taking on Arsenal. Now, we spoke about Leeds' 2-1 loss 
to Crystal Palace. They started that game so strong. Looked like a team that were absolutely going to tear Palace apart, but then just let Palace back in the game in the second half. They haven't won any of their previous five games, and I don't think it's going to start now against this very, very informed, red-hot Arsenal team who are coming off a 3-2 victory over Liverpool. Sucker with a brace. Martinelli chipped in. This Arsenal team are something different this year, and I do think they're going to have too much for this lead side. So I'm going for a 3-1 Arsenal win, and my betting tip is Arsenal to win. Next up, we've got Man United taking on Newcastle. Now, we spoke about Man United's 2-1 win over Everton and Newcastle's 5-1 win over Brentford. For United, Martial came off in the 25th minute and Ronaldo came on and ended up scoring. Glad to see his back with his 700th goal. Rashford looked really, really good in that game. I'm liking the signs from this United team. They seem to be getting back to a place where they can contend for a top four spot. And then Newcastle have just been banging goals in from everywhere in the past few weeks. The only thing that worries me about Newcastle is that they haven't kept a clean sheet in their last three games. So I do think United's going to score here. I also think Newcastle's going to score here. I'm going for a 2-2 draw and my betting tip is over two and a half goals. <laughs> Next up, we've got Aston Villa taking on Chelsea. Now, we spoke about Aston Villa's 1-1 draw against Nottingham Forest. They are four games unbeaten, so on a good run, but they are struggling to score goals. They've only scored three goals in those four games, and that is going to be a problem when they're coming up against an in-form Chelsea side. Chelsea coming off that 3-0 win over Wolves, and now they've beat AC Milan back to back. Graham Potter is doing magical things in that Chelsea team. The only worry for me is that Reese James might not be fit for this game against Aston Villa. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I'm going for a 3-0 Chelsea win, and my betting tip is Chelsea to win. And then finally, we've got Liverpool taking on Man City. Now, Liverpool, we spoke about their 3-2 loss to Arsenal. A tough one to take for them there. But then they bounced back in the Champions League and beat Rangers 7-1. Mo Salah coming off the bench, scoring a six-minute hat-trick. Is he back? Is the king of FPL back? Who knows? And then Man City, we spoke about their 4-0 win over Southampton. And then they drew 0-0 to Copenhagen during the week, which was a massive shock. Obviously, Haaland didn't play. Foden and De Bruyne started on the bench. And Pep was just resting them for this massive Liverpool game. Man City have already qualified for the round of 16 in the Champions League. I think this is going to be an absolute thriller. I think Man City are the better team here. Liverpool, I mean, seem to have found some form in that Rangers game. But I'm still going for a 3-1 Man City win. And my betting tip is is Man City to win. <laughs> <laughs> 